leading into the All-Star break after a long season, a lot of games being played, and you know that kind of carrot hanging out in front of them. John is typical of, of the NBA season, and, and you've seen it all the years. At this time of year, after Christmas, before the All-Star break, is probably the toughest after New Year's um, of, any, of any league, really. And it's one where guys are kind of in a malaise and kind of going through the motions. And to get the good teams get themselves ready to play, the consistent teams get themselves ready to play. Uh, and that's what we try to do. We hit it uh, at the same time with injuries, but uh, we're kind of bouncing out of it now. I think we can see the light in the tunnel. I think we have about 20, 29 games, 28 games to go. And so we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So that we, we got to start making some hay, uh, you know, getting together, getting our consistency, you know, most of all getting healthy, getting our rhythm back from our health, and um, go forward. You are going to get three days off to get these two workouts in. How important is that? That's huge. That's going to be really big for us to get some practice time in. Uh, you know, everybody says, well, you get healthy again. Well, see, those healthy guys still have to get their rhythm back. So there's always a two two edged sword with that and, and with DeMar and Patrick coming back, getting those guys back, uh, getting them back in the rhythm, getting them used to getting banged and hit and the, the speed of the game uh, is going to be important for us. But how much do you have to temper not killing them too much? Oh, we won't. I mean, get yeah. Like it's hard to balance? Well, it's a balance, but again, it's it's something that this time of year you you got to do. I think for us more repetitions more so than the, the intensity. Uh, repetitions and, and recreating our habits are, are far more important than anything else. And again, this time of year you can't have long drawn out practices, but you can get them quick and and uh, get your habits and repetitions in more than anything. Did you learn anything about your team when Jamar was out? A lot, a lot. I, know I learned that you missed 27 points out of your lineup, that, that you learned that you got to have talent in your lineup to, to get it done. And again, our young guys did a heck of a job. No, I'm not taking a slide out of Norm Pilot because I thought he came in and did an excellent job for where he is in his career. Uh, that kid is going to be a talent in this league. And, uh, you know, so don't take that as a, a slight to him because I thought he did an admirable job uh, replacing an all-star Olympian uh, that DeMar is. We talked with Pat down and, uh, and Jared still kind of finding his way. You've had to rely on Pascal again like you did at the beginning of the year. Where have you seen the biggest progress in Pascal? Well, just the understanding what happens in the NBA, the speed of the NBA game, the multiple things you have to do in one possession compared to college. Uh, that's one thing he's learned. Uh, and again, he's getting stronger. He's been lifting weights. Uh, his shot has improved. So he's improved in a lot of different areas, but still is a rookie, still learning as he goes. He's going to see some new things and have to adjust on the fly. You know him from the East, what kind of player are the Wolves getting in Lance Stevenson? Uh, talented, talented young man, one-on-one -on -one player, uh, hard to stop one-on-one, -on -one, can get to where he wants to go with the ball. Um, you know, again, he's been his own worst enemy a lot of times, and I think he'd be the first to tell you that, but a very talented young man. The last time you were here, Towns went off for 35. I'm sure that was a focal, focal point. No question. Towns and Wiggins. Wiggins kind of gets his his uh, his gander up a little bit when he when he plays against the, uh, the Raptors and, you know, being his home country. And uh, believe me, that's what he should do. Uh, again, both those guys are very aggressive scorers. They're looking to score. They're the heart and soul of their scoring right now and uh, doing an excellent job. Uh, Wiggins' is a pick and roll offense has improved tremendously. And uh, Towns is just an all around. I'm surprised he didn't make the all-star team because he's a very, very talented young man. Plus, he's from Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> With Stevenson, so I'm surprised that he's just 26. It seems like he's been around for. He around. seems seems like he's been around a long time. He's he's got an old soul. He's he's a a veteran play. He knows how to play. He's a basketball player. He's not really a two. He's not really a three. Uh, he just knows how to play. And uh, again, I, I'm I was shocked when I you look up and see him coming. By the time you see, we're playing him. But he's a talented player who can have an impact on the game.